As we have less than a week to go before Boruto's next exciting chapter regarding Naruto's new form, today I'm going to briefly cover the possible death of Naruto, as well as some fan theories regarding the future of Boruto next generation. So without further ado, let's get to it. So as you guys may or may not be aware of, in chapter 51, Ishiki appears in Konoha in his real form. And I think we all know once a villain stands up flying in the air in the middle of Konoha, we already know what happens. Doesn't it feel nostalgic? Let me just rewind back just so I can refresh your memories. Man came like pain, just 10,000 times worse than pain himself, and stole his team as well. Oh. That's how it I don't, I mean, I'm, and, and with, and with me, I... Ah, whatever, you get the point. Ishiki appears in Konoha in his real form to insert a new karma seal on Kawaki since he disappeared. And he disappeared because of his transformation from Jigen's dying body, who was Ishiki's vessel up until his, this chapter. Uh, and the reason that happened is because of the fact that after Ishiki fought both Naruto and Sasuke in Jigen's body, he used up almost all of the chakra that Jigen's body could handle. Nani? He really is that powerful. Ishiki in Jigen's body returned home to restore his chakra, but Amado realized that he had less than 10% of his power at that moment, and he plotted with Kashi and Koji for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to force him out of Jigen's body. Kashi Koji faces Jigen, and, and you might wonder why. It is because he wants to force Ishiki to draw out all of his power, and since Jigen's body cannot handle the power anymore, Ishiki will eventually transform into his real form, and he may have three days at best to survive before he dies on his own, according to Amado. Hence why he needs to insert a karma mark on Kawaki. Anyways, getting back to the chapter and the real reason behind this video. Since both Naruto and Sasuke had already fought Ishiki in Jigen's body before and lost with little to no effort, they both are fully aware of the fact that their death might be just a matter of time. <laughs> Sasuke's plan, or really his hope, is using Boruto's new profound karma power and pray that it does wonders. And Naruto, for the first time ever, seems to be out of options to defeat his opponent and has already accepted his fate. He really is willing to die, trying his best to cling to Ishiki's body until Ishiki runs out of time and dies on his own. <laughs> However, Kurama came in with the clutch, of course. He offers his last ace up the sleeve plan, you know, but warns Naruto that he will most definitely die afterwards. But that still encourages Naruto to make sure that he and Kurama are ready to sacrifice themselves for the village. But will he die though? Let's rewind back to the first scenes of Boruto. Kawaki clearly states that Naruto was sent away or sealed away or something in that nature. But still though, he might have actually died after using that badass form of his and died like the hero he is. Do you guys think? Do you guys think that Naruto will die? Do you guys think he will be sealed away? Or is there any other theories you would like to discuss? Please comment down your thoughts and subscribe to my channel. Uh, part 2 is coming as well. Stay tuned. I'll let you boy.